South Carolina has a good defensive unit. First and ten, Lassick gained ten in that play. Barker back to pass, and Lassick again with a reception. Makes a nice cut up field, another first down for Alabama. Lassick making three out of three. He carried it twice, and he caught that pass for 14. This time he breaks free right up the middle. Hard running for Lassick. Another first down, and the homecoming crowd loves it. Jimmy Bowe, the offensive line coach, came out and said, this is do or die week for these guys in the offensive line. They either produce this week, or we're working other people in there. Well, Lassick with a fake, and there's David Palmer around right in. Outruns turn of seed and breaks it up and may score, but he gets wrestled down around the one-yard line. Palmer almost scored the tide. Boom, boom, boom. They're driven down the field, and Palmer upset he didn't get in. Gain of 39 in the reverse. First and goal, Lassick. Finds a hole and scores six for Alabama. They're on the board quick. <laughs> But Langham and Shea are good. Williams is sacked by Lemansky Hall. Chalk up another tackle for number 11. Lemansky Hall is a former defensive back that they moved to outside linebacker. And he's got great speed. Third and one. Houston. With the first down. And again, the Christmas Tide continues to just go straight ahead and gain yardage. Third down and five. Ball resting on the 31. Barker trying to pass to the third straight play, looking for Palmer. There was contact between Palmer and Frank Adams. Nine deal. Throwing a touchdown pass this season. This time he tries it to call for quarter. To see where they spot it. Looks like he might have taken him down inside the 20. DeVore off the right side. It's brought down by a host of Alabama defenders led by Antonio Langham who came up to make the stop from the quarterback slot. In the last 18 opportunities, the opposition is over 18 in the last uh, third down conversion. The last 18 chances to fell to the first. Well, David Palmer with some fancy footwork goes around the right side, excites the crowd. Brings it up around the 34-yard line. Sherman Williams in his tailback. Two tight ends. There's Sherman Williams finding a big hole to run through. He falls forward for another Alabama first down. Second and five, Sherman Williams, quick feet, jumps over a runner and scores. The touchdown looks like Gale Sayers, Sherman Williams with a great run. South Carolina still looking for their very first first down of this game. It's second and ten. And the ball's loose. Did Alabama pick it up? There's a bad scramble. And Alabama seems to have picked up the loose football. There you saw that rushing statistic. Chris Anderson adds even more to it. It's up close to another first down. Maybe seven. Second down and two. Ball in the six. Marker back to Anderson. Anderson goes in for another touchdown. I'm telling you, the folks here have had a lot to cheer about, and there's still five and a half minutes to play in the first quarter. A terrific high school career at Blunt High School where he set all sorts of records in the state of Alabama. Who knows, he may break a few at Alabama. And the sack, the first sack of the day for the Crimson Tide. John Copeland, his fourth sack of the season. Gave Lassick four yards, so it's third down and six. Here you see the time. Two and a half minutes to go, first quarter. Barker looking for Curtis Brown. He's on freshman, got a lot of confidence, got the long here. Let's see if he can make it produce. Nice by Copeland. Here comes Gregory, there's a fumble. Alabama jumps on it, and it looks like they picked up another loose ball. Yes, sir, Alabama has the football. Another turnover. He puts it in. Third and long. A long 20. Over a minute to play. There's the lob pass that's picked off. Good play by Frank Adams. Beginning of the second quarter. Third down and one. DeBoer loses control of the football. 
Chris Donnelly says the tide has it. South Carolina tried to be the first team to convert a third down play. Tide fans were waiting for this offense to wake up, and 21 first quarter points is the most they've had in a quarter since the Tennessee game last season when they scored 21 in the third quarter. Sherman Williams, the man from Mobile, gets another first down. Keep the clock running. Chris Rumpf on the tackle as Barker back to pass. Palmer, it's another first down. We'll look at the mark, and it looks like they'll continue to move forward. Barker, the Brown, complete. Second down and seven, and look at that unbelievable lopsided number on the rushing yardage. 155 to 10. There's Curtis Brown. The man from South Carolina cutting it back. Is he going to score? You better believe it. Alabama, 27 to nothing. Curtis Brown, terrific play. A great play by Curtis Brown. Michael Proctor has been a busy young man kicking extra points and kicking off. Here he goes again. This one goes into the end zone, I believe. A couple of yards in. South Carolina brings it out. Terrell Harris. And a flag down in the play. He's real confident, yeah, young man. He wants to play. Return team. He wants yeah, first down. And I think that's what Steve Tannehill is learning now. Alabama went 66 yards on five plays. South Carolina trying to put together a drive of their own, but bottled up. Curtis Brown, the touchdown man, is wide right. There's the handoff to Chris Anderson. A gaping hole, Anderson. Just wrestled out of bounds around the 19 and eventually thrown out of bounds. Good look at Chris. And right up the middle is Harris. He finds room to run. Craig Harris, the senior out of Panama City. Chris Anderson will try to go back around to the other side. Bergdorf lays down a block, but he gets brought down. Keith Franklin in the stop, 53. There you see Campbell. Probably uh, one of the most talented players on South Carolina's ball, team. Personal foul, defense, automatic first down. You've thrown the two, Alabama offense for a loss, and instead it's first and 10. Bergdorf to Harris, touchdown, Craig Harris. The senior gets excited, his final homecoming appearance. You wonder why the score is 35 to nothing. Williamson. DeBoer, Rob DeBoer was greeted by just a slew of Alabama defensive players led by the big hoss, Brian Thornton. You saw Jay Barker talking to Lassick. Martin Houston gets the first down. Martin had a big game last week against Louisiana Tech. David Palmer in motion. Bergdorf straight back. He connects with Curtis Brown, who fights for the first down. Did he get it? We'll check. Under five minutes to go. Martin Houston hammers his way for another first down. Hard to bring down, and eventually, Norman Green wrestles him to the turf. Three minutes to play before halftime. Third down and eight. Bergdorf to Prince Wembley. Hit immediately. Leading the charge, Rocky Clay. 31-yard field goal attempt for Proctor. And just like everything else for Alabama, he converts. Everything's working. We'll see if he's a rebel with a cause as he takes over on the 25. He's back to pass, and he completes it. There's a first down. Down the sidelines goes South Carolina. Nice play to Asim Penny. Penny Hill shows a pretty good arm. Hanny Hill, quarterback, straight back. And he'll run for it and grab the first down on third and five, and that's the first time in a long time that any team has converted a third down play. It's the tie D. Hanny Hill wearing a single glove on his left hand. A Jackson. He scrambles out of the pocket again and finds an open receiver. It's caught down at the one yard line. Illegal pass. And they aren't concerned with headlines or who gets the publicity. 
Tannehill back to pass, pump fake, over the middle, connection, first down, under a minute to play, nice grab, you see number 12. Uh-oh, pressure from the outside, and he's wrestled down. 92 is Jason Milner. He came in initially, and Shannon Brown finished him off. Bergdorf goes to one knee. That'll wrap up the first half. The first two quarters, all Alabama. You're watching Southeastern Conference football on video seat. The Tide looking to go 3-0 in the conference. And Williamson looked like uh, he was trying for the shuttle pass. It was cut off, just basically threw it into the turf. Second down and 10 from the 34. There's the draw play to Lassick, which has worked so effectively throughout the season, especially against Arkansas. Lassick goes for a first down. Joey Harville, the right tackle for Alabama there, did a great job of letting that uh, defensive lineman come up the field and then cutting him. He worked on that play. And William Barger with a nice block on that play. Lassick continues to just find yardage, picks up another six or seven. A lot of quarterbacks are going to that big face mask now as he rolls right or rolls to his left. He can go ahead and run with it. It's cut down at the ankles. That's Frank Adams. First and 10. Ball nestled on the 27. 11 minutes to go in the third quarter. Derek Lassick. Puts his head down and slides to about the 10-yard line. A gain of 17 for the senior. Also coming up helping, up, helping out on that run. We'll see if the play goes to the right side. And Martin Houston almost got thrown for a loss. That would have been a first. He gets the first down. Nope, fumble. Okay, knocked it loose. And Gamecocks have something to cheer about. Third down and 10, ball in the 11. And I think Rob DeBoer is going to be a sore young man after this one. He's taking some pops, and he has the ball back. And he gets a first down, Rob DeBoer. Now, there's some strong running. Gamecocks did not get a good spot. It's third and a long three. Williamson forced out of the pocket and sacked Lemansky Hall. Bergdorf play action. There's the rollout. And a catch. Cabo Sweeney on the reception. Bergdorf, there's a rollout to the right side. Tarrant Lynch. Gets brought down quickly by Reggie Richardson. Bergdorf. Chris Anderson comes close to making the catch. Bergdorf pressured. Bergdorf he's played a good game. He's come up very well on the run, and that time putting pressure on Bergdorf. Got there just as the ball was released and affected the release on the ball. Cam Green, the field goal kicker from a year ago, converts on a 27-yarder. That's good to see. Oh. Scared to death? Well, it was against the number one ranked team in the country. I had to start it off against Miami. <laughs> I went out there and told myself, just don't turn around and look at them until you've got to. <laughs> Rob DeBoer. Is that Rob? No. That's Terry Wilburn. Find a room to roll. Down to the 33-yard line. Hey, give him a hand. Terry Wilburn, great return. 62-yard return for Bennett. And another strong run by Mike Reddick, freshman out of Miami, Florida. Speaking of Miami, Bull House backfield, double tight end, hammered at the line, and he did not get the first down. Big hit, Rob DeBoer could not bore through the line. What a stick. Fourth down and in inches. First down, South Carolina. Nice play, good blocking. First down for Mike Reddick. He's a senior. You better believe some NFL teams will look at him. First and 15, Tanny Hill back in, and here comes everybody. Well, number 70 was hooping and hollering, but it was really Will Brown. Will Brown, number 17. Seven ticks to go. And that's where you're headed. I see Penny catches the pass against Jeff Wall down to the two, and that's a mismatch when you think height-wise, size-wise. Jeff Wall's 5'7". Uh-oh, they got you back that time. There's the pitch back. Touchdown, South Carolina. They're on the board.
Bergdorf still in there at quarterback. Back to pass. He finds receiver Sherman Williams. Sherman falls forward for a first down. Time will stop as he gets. No, yep, time stops. Telling you, it's hard to knock success when you're undefeated. Boy, how can you complain? Completed pass there. Is that Dabo Sweeney? It is, uh huh. Bergdorf rifled that one. Third down and nine. There's a sack for South Carolina. Good coverage sack that time. A soggy mess here in Tuscaloosa. The fans are a bit wet, but most of them are very happy. The ones that aren't drove over from Columbia. There's a completed pass. That was Tannehill. Completed to Don Chaney. Gamecocks with the nation's toughest schedule for the second straight year. Danny Hill threw that maybe just a little too hard. What do you think? You see Chad on his left wrist with that Tom Maddy uh, cheat sheet, if you will. Doesn't play a lot when he comes in, needs that. Chris Anderson gets close to a first down. You saw the million dollar band still sitting out in the elements and still beating the drum. Chris Anderson for a first down. I tell you, they have so many good running backs. And when you get that touchdown, it makes it all worthwhile. Here's Chris Anderson. Getting a first down. Now, Chris will check his yardage. Remember, Lassick had 100 yards. Second down, 14. Ball in the 47. Sherman Williams. Uh-oh. Loses control of it. Life's most embarrassing moments, and he's trying to make it, <laughs> make it out of there, and he doesn't. In motion goes Williams. And Key, the first pass of his career. And he gets sacked. Well, defense, I mean, Scott mentioned this earlier, defense is what wins those big ball games. And Alabama has an extremely strong defense as you you can see from that play, Will Brown coming in from his outside linebacker position, making the stop. They don't make too many they're, changes at Alabama. That's right. They're pretty pretty simple. Several years ago, I mean, Ray Perkins was the head coach here. Uh, they decided to go to white shoes, and it was like, you know, I can't believe this is happening, going away from the black shoes. But Alabama's uniforms have always been pretty simple. Chris Anderson, we'll see how long that run was. He had 68 before that carry. Oh, I'm sorry, Chris is a junior. He's led her two years, also has played on the Alabama baseball team. Anderson goes right. Uh oh, he's going to go over 100 yards. He's going to score a touchdown. Chris Anderson, give him six. Alabama on the board again. 37 yard carry. Before that, it was 15. 15 seconds to play. Alabama started playing homecoming games in 1920. There's a completed pass that'll probably end the game. Just somebody calls a quick timeout. Oh, the officials will give South Carolina one more shot at it. Three seconds. There's a quiz question. Who played the very first homecoming game in college football? The very first. Homecoming game. Harvard. Harvey. You save these for a 48 to 7 game. 1910, Illinois hosted the University of Chicago. Decided to invite the uh, alumni back. And they were the very first. Shortly afterwards, everybody started to follow. And that's the end of the ball game. Crimson Tide on top, 48 to 7. Gene Stallings will come across and shake hands with Sparky Woods. There's the score, 48 7.